As we described before, charges create electric potential, and most of the time, the potential varies over distance. When this happens, where you have a changing potential, you must have a gradient. And any time you have a gradient, it turns out, you'll have a force in the opposite direction for positive quantities. Let's first think about this as it relates to gravity. The gradient in gravitational potential points up toward the sky. So if the gradient points up, the force must point down. That's why the force of gravity pulls things to the ground. Now let's relate this to electricity. Mathematically, the force exerted on a charged particle and a gradient of electric potential is given by this equation. What it says is that the force is equal to the negative product of the charge and the gradient. So what about the negative sign? Well, just like with gravity, the gradient always points toward higher potential. That means that the forces on a positive charge always point in the opposite direction of the gradient. Be careful though, a force on a negative charge will point in the same direction of the gradient because the negative signs will cancel.